The President, please be seated. Le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez vous asseoir. The trial chamber is uh, in session uh, for today to continue its proceeding on uh, the establishment and the operation of a security office uh, or the re-education center uh, known as S24. Uh, S24. Uh, before uh, giving the floor to the parties uh, to uh, put questions uh, to the accused, uh, on uh, the facts uh, just uh, mentioned, uh, the trial chamber uh, would like to uh, inform the parties that the trial chamber wishes to remove another witness. Um, KW24 uh, because um, uh, several uh, testimonies. Uh, consider uh, sufficient and uh, there were uh, some other witness uh, uh, statements that uh, we uh, will call for uh, testimony and uh, those uh, statements uh, have similar uh, contents as um, those of the KW24. And uh, we, the trial chamber will read uh, the, his statements uh, when appropriate, as we have uh, discussed in our uh, meeting earlier, and uh, the parties uh, are not allowed to uh, make comments uh, at uh, this moment, but uh, your remarks or your comments or uh, any suggestion to the remo rem removal of KW24, uh, you should raise that comment or suggestion uh, on next Monday. Uh, the security officer, please uh, bring the accused to the dark. Vous pourrez procéder lundi prochain. Je vais maintenant demander au garde responsable de la sécurité de bien vouloir amener l'accusé à la barre. The President, the president. Uh, to next, um, uh, the floor is given to uh, the co-prosecutor uh, to put questions uh, to the accused uh, uh, regarding uh, the facts uh, for the hearing. Uh, uh, that is uh, the establishment and operation of uh, S24. Uh, please. Um, Je vous en prie. Uh, the co-prosecutors, co uh, Mr. President, I have a number of questions to ask to the accused. Uh, uh, can you explain uh, what what are the differences between S21 and other local cooperatives and base? The the accused, uh, Mr. Uh, Co-Prosecutor, S24, S24, it uh, similar to uh, the cooperatives and other bases in a certain matter. The first is the rise uh, to live. It, it was the same. It was not decided by the standing committee or it's uh, the zone secretary that make that decision. 
but the difference, the differences were uh, S24, uh, they gather uh, the people who have uh, committed a kind of offense as for uh, the corporatives and the base, uh, they collected people based on the class origin. And another difference is that at S24, most of the detainees uh, were uh, the uh, combatants of the CPK and at the corporatives. Uh, most of the people uh, were uh, the person uh, with their family members um, uh, and relatives uh, all together. That's all, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. The Co-Prosecutor, uh, my next question, uh, what was the structure of S24? Were there any militia to uh, conduct uh, surveillance against those detainees? The accused, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, it is a branch of uh, S21 who work there at night. Um, a number of uh, people were assigned to, uh, to spy or to conduct espionage and to uh, listen or monitor the detainees. But I don't know uh, for sure about the assignment, who was the chief, uh, from what time. Uh, I do not uh, quite sure on that, but yes, there is that kind of espionage. The co-prosecutor, uh, when the information uh, was uh, collected uh, from a certain detainee, what happens to them uh, later on? Uh, the accused, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, uh, for detainees who were uh, uh, spy and reported, and, and they reported up to Comrade Hui. This is one of the steps. Uh, when there is a, an incident or uh, evidence proving that he or she uh, will uh, flee or uh, they fled and then they arrested. So based on uh, the offense. But in general, with just uh, 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 hearsay or uh, the report, they uh, reported to Comrade Hoi. But when there is a, a real incident and they came to Comrade Ho, and when Ho and Hui uh, made a decision and then uh, we can take action. Uh, were Ho and Hui reported to you about that? Uh, response, in principle, it was a, an operational or the function continued from the uh, security office of uh, Division 703. In case of uh, urgency, then they reported to me. Uh, question. Uh, can you explain about a special case? What was it? The accused, uh, uh, the special case, uh, for example, Comrade Man, uh, alias Sin Mel, he uh, committed a series or several of incidents and later he was reported to me because uh, he was assigned there as the uh, commander of uh, the company there, so uh, uh, the people need to report to me on that. Another case, uh, which uh, we discussed yesterday uh, from the document, it's uh, uh, the documents uh, talking about Sindara alias Sok and uh, the family of Mailun and uh, the superior uh, told me that uh, before uh, taking any action against these people, uh, I need to consult it uh, uh, with the superior. This is uh, the special case, Brother Mailun, uh, I'm sorry, the family of Mailuns and the family of Comrade Sok, uh, alias uh, Dara. Uh, 
Uh, he was uh, from the elements unit that kept there for uh, espionage. So only in that special case, uh, my sub uh, subordinate would uh, report to me. Dans ce cas-là, on m'a rendu compte de ce qui uh, s'était produit. The co-prosecutor, co you said that the re-education uh, for the elements at Brésor is to uh, tempering forced labor and to uh, uh, respect the discipline uh, in order to achieve that goals. Uh, did you uh, enforce any measure or action for uh, your staff there to work on that? Pour que vos personnels sur place Answer, um, travail, Mr. Um, Pro Secure. Ses objectifs. Uh, Réponse, so, Monsieur le coprocureur. To be straight on this matter, I uh, did not give cette, any uh, consultation or any training to those Je staff. Uh, it uh, continued from uh, uh, a little bit uh, after the 17 April, and it continued in its way, but uh, there was no special training, but there were, there were annual uh, study sessions through the party. Yes, I uh, did that. Annuelles par le biais du parti, et donc oui, effectivement, c'est ce que j'ai fait. Questions? If uh, you don't have Question. that kind of uh, uh, si uh, training, uh, what uh, can you do uh, with Hoysrae and Raysor that they adhere to the discipline ça, and they work uh, very hard? Uh, can you explain about that? Um, très the accused et acquérir cette discipline. Um, uh, to uh, unconditionally respect uh, the discipline, it's the condition imposed by the CPK that any unit uh, wishes to uh, fulfill that plans by the party. It is called the uh, ideology of the organizational discipline. So ideology is uh, the most important. Everyone had to work hard and uh, adhere to the discipline with uh, our any condition. So uh, during uh, the annual study session and also the criticism and self-criticism, we also uh, talked about this. Uh, thank you. Uh, question. You said that Breysa was a fenceless prison. Uh, no one uh, would uh, rebel or would flee. Uh, did you know what are the methods to use, be used there so that the detainee uh, were fearful of uh, rebellion or uh, flee? De Il the pas accused, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, uh, the measure to prevent the detainee from uh, rebelling or uh, escape, we uh, try to work uh, almost uh, always with them, and they, kn they knew well about those detainees, about uh, their uh, behavior, and in addition, they had a, a, a night uh, espionage. So uh, monitoring is uh, the key issues, le, and uh, Comrade Hui is uh, the second step uh, of their uh, reporting system. Uh, first is uh, the staff themselves work closely with them. Uh, secondly, they uh, conduct uh, night espionage. So when they heard any chatting or discussion, discussion between the detainee, and then they uh, keep uh, following up. And if any incident occurred, they report it to Comrade Hoy, uh, the co-prosecutor. If uh, anyone escaped or si fled. Uh, is there any arrest uh, made against the family member or relatives? Les de la the accused, uh, Mr. Uh, Co 
prosecutor, the arrest could not could not be made without uh, consultation on uh, the superior lines of command. Uh, that's all I can tell you. Question. One of your staff in charge of the radio and fleet was reported to the superior. Est-ce que cet événement a été signalé au supérieur? Monsieur le co-procureur, the radio operator in Preso who fled. Qui s'est enfui? First, I reported to the superior. It was Uncle Noon at the time. Au supérieur, c'était Oncle Noon à l'époque. And then, I, Puis, I also reported to Uncle Noon regarding the issue of uh, Comrade Hoy, because Oncle Noon when a person who was close to the cadre, Hoy, then that cadre sought to be reported to the superior. For example, uh, this is the case. I, Comrade Pon and I, were If Comrade Pon fled, Automatically, the party would arrest me because I vouched the biography of Pon before the party. So then, the radio operator, when he fled, then his superior has to be responsible for the party too. The first superior is responsible for this person. This is my response. This is what happened with the comrade Hoy. Questions. What was the measure taken in attempts to recapture the radio operator? Answer. The measure was up to the upper echelon because we had no direct connection with the local units. Thank you. Next question. Question suivante. During the Questioning of the fact on M13, the killing method on the prisoners were used in order to threat to threaten other prisoners. Was such method used at Reso or S24? Answered. Personally. Réponse. When I ordered a person to shoot a victim, the person who did the shooting was the one who allowed his weapons to be snatched away. And a few days later, he was shot and left. And I myself was shocked too. So I didn't talk about that event anymore. Concretely, after Nat's error, I never heard of such incident. And also, such incident was not heard at S24. And I never instructed my subordinates to implement such method. Thank you, sir. It's the co-prosecutor method. My next question. Question. Do you believe that your staff at Preso, especially Hoi, might use such method? Et puis utiliser de telles méthodes. Answer. I do not believe they use such method. Prosecutor, thank you. Question. Je vous remercie. Next question. Question suivante. The elements who were sick were they allowed to rest or were they forced to work while they were sick? Were they forced to work while they were sick? Or were they forced to work while they were sick? Answer. Mr. Prosecutor, I could not provide an answer because I was not there. Answer. Mr. Prosecutor, I could not provide an answer because I was not there. Answer. Mr. Prosecutor, I could not provide an answer because I was not there. Answer. Mr. Prosecutor, I could not provide an answer because I was not there. Answer. Mr. Prosecutor, I could not provide an answer because I was not there. Answer. Mr. Prosecutor, I could not provide an answer because I was not there. Wait to listen and to acknowledge if that was what happened. Son témoignage. Question. Si c'est ce qui s'est passé. Were you aware that when the elements were forced to do labour and couldn't complete the quota, then the security staff tortured them at the time? Were you aware of that? Elle n'arrivait pas à au rendement. I did not hear it directly. I only heard. 
in the present time. And yes, I acknowledge it. It was an incident that happened there. Mais il me semble que des incidents de ce type se sont produits là-bas. Question. Question. You said the elements at Preso, Vous avez dit que les éléments, les composants if they Pressard, make an offense, they would be sent to S21 or directly to Chiang Alors, vous avez dit que ces composants soient été envoyés à S21, soit à Chiang of offenses to have them sent to these two locations? Pour quelles étaient les infractions qui justifient qu'on les envoie dans ces offenses fall into euh, two categories one the plans to rebel il y avait deux catégories the second an attempt to escape these are two serious offenses euh, plan pour euh, de rébellion soit tentative d'évasion telles étaient les deux infractions an offense, for example, it in not uh, having zeal to work, it was not serious, and they would be re-educated. Um, and if they could not achieve the quota, then they would find a way to make a report to the upper uh, echelon to request for the person to be smashed. Le, Question, can you specify what types of offense for them to be sent to S21, or what types of offense for them to be sent to Chiang Kai. Answer, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, let me add to what I said yesterday. The sending directly to Chiang Kai after they were considered, their confessions were not required. So their confessions would not be law. So they would be sent to Chiang Kai. And for those whose confessions were important, then they would be sent to Phnom Penh for the extraction of their confessions. Question. Based on which principle were they sent to Chiang Kai directly or to S21? Answered. It is a combination of the biography of the person made by Comrade Ho and Hoyt and based on their previous activities and their background. And their background activities were already part of their biography. Question. Question. The 160 children who were sent directly to Chiang Kai before they were sent, how long did they stay at S24? Pendant combien de temps ces enfants sont-ils restés à S24? Answer. Réponse. I am not sure. Je n'en suis pas certain. I could only estimate that the children who were sent Je to Chiang Kai, altogether 160 of them, they were those who were kept Il avait quite a, a longer time. That was the total. At first, probably there were three or four of them who were kept at a time. And the teenagers would go into the rice field during the rainy season to catch mice. So I am not sure how many months they stayed or how many months they were used. And I think the proportion of the duration or time was not equal among those children. Question. Question. Is it true that because they were children who did not have enough strength to do labor and because S21 did not want to spend food on them, that's why they were taken and killed? Answered. That is the second reason. The first reason is that the Communist Party of Cambodia was afraid that the children would take revenge. That was the main factor. 
c'était le facteur principal. And nothing else could be used rien d'autre ne to pouvait être utilisé pour that main aller à l'encontre de ce facteur principal. Thank you, says the co-prosecutor. Nice question. Question, je vous remercie, dit le co-procureur. What measures were taken in taking those children from S24 to June ces personnes, ces enfants de S24 Answered. à Chiang Kai. This is a technical issue, réponse, il s'agit and I was not aware of it as I was not there. In technique, principle, pas the children were not kept mm, because they were afraid of the children taking revenge based on a party's policy. So regarding this uh, technical issue, I was not on the ground and I could not answer it ou se vengerait. Donc moi, je n'étais pas sur place, donc je ne pourrais vous donner des, des explications sur l'aspect technique. Question. Question. Habituellement, les prisonniers qui étaient transportés dans un véhicule et qui étaient transportés par un véhicule quand ils étaient transportés dans le véhicule Est-ce que c'était le cas pour ces enfants. Answered, I did not see it and I could not estimate if that was the case. Et je ne pourrais vous donner d'informations en l'espèce. Question. You said the decision on the elements at S24 was made by the S21 committee. You did not make any request to the upper echelon for their decision. Did you report on the killing and the transfer of those prisoners to the upper echelon? Answered, I can recall that. There was a report, but it was verbal. There was no surviving document. Even at the office 870, there was no written report, only a verbal report. De rapport écrit sur ces questions. On leur faisait uniquement un rapport oral. Question. Question. So. Did you agree that you were the person who decided the fate of the elements? Vous êtes d'accord pour que vous étiez la personne qui décidait du sort de ces composants? Answer. Réponse. Speaking directly to the point, I was like the upper echelon. I only received the figure. Moi, je recevais les actually, chiffres. Et la décision a été en fait été prise par mes subordonnés qui étaient chargés de pressor. Ils avaient Et moi, j'avais connaissance des chiffres et je rendais compte des echelon. chiffres à l'échelon supérieur. Thank you, Mr. President. I do not have any more questions. I would like now to give the floor to my international colleague, the President. The international co-prosecutor, the floor is yours. Good morning, Mr. President, Your Honours, Council, members of the Court. Your Honours, Council, and Mr. Gang, Court. Perhaps if I can just pick up on the last point that you made, stating that you didn't decide on the fate of the elements, and when we talk about the elements, we're talking about the large detainee population at Prasar. You didn't decide on whether they would live or die. Is that correct? Sort of these composants, you didn't decide on whether they would live or die. That's what you said. The accused, Réponse. Mr. Co-Prosecutor, in principle, I was responsible en principe, for this decision. Although I did not make it personally, décision, I am still responsible. However, que je reste 
What happened was that the decision was made by other people, and they were responsible before me and before the party. That was not to let the elements rebel or escape. So these two people had to be responsible before me and before the party. This is my response. Mr. Kang, what I was going to do this morning. I was going to put to you your conflicting accounts through the co-investment judge's file and your conflicting accounts in your testimony yesterday. However, maybe it's better to jump straight to the point. In relation to people detained at S24 at Preysar and to have, to have them brought back to S21 in Phnom Penh, are you saying that was your decision or it was your subordinate's decision? Just that group of people that came back from Presa to Phnom Penh, to the compound, was that your decision or was that your subordinate's decision, Hor and Huisrei? The accused, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, from my recollection, before the co-investigating judges, I said, in principle, they were responsible before me and before the party not to allow them to escape or to rebel. And for the details, they would make decisions, except in the case of the family of Comrade Sok and Mylon. That was what I said. And except those 30 people who were with the instruction from my superior to be re-educated for one month and were sent for the reintegration. And that was what I reported to the co-investigating judges, and that was what I said yesterday, and I don't think it's uh, too far apart. Thank you. Uh, and Mr. Kang -u, we do understand, we do understand the difficulty of testifying at great length to the co-investor judges and to this court and been asked by numerous questions by different people, so we do understand the difficulty of that. But, <coughs> to be clear, in relation to those people that came back to S21 from Presa, those people, you were told of that decision afterwards. It was reported back to you that that was, in fact, what happened. But that was after the fact. You weren't involved in the decision-making, were you? You delegated that decision-making power to Hor and Hugh Sray. Then you found out afterwards that those detainees were brought back to Phnom Penh. Is that correct? It's exact. The accused, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, it is very hard for me to say if there is any evidence of what I said to the co-investigating judges and there's a new evidence showing things differently than I would Autre say or examine. And this doesn't mean that I deny my crimes. I am responsible for my crimes. However, what Alors, I reported or testified before the co-investigating judges, I only have some of those statements, not all. Et pour ce que j'ai dit au code d'instruction, j'ai relu certaines dispositions. <coughs> Mr. Kang, oh. I think everyone appreciates your admission of responsibility in these crimes as a general matter. But perhaps if you cannot think about what you said to the co-investigating judges, maybe not think about what you said yesterday, but if you can tell us now 
from your memory now back to when you're at S21, it's the case that you found out afterwards that these people were arrested and brought back to Phnom Penh. Is that correct? Après les faits que vous avez su que ces personnes détenues après ça avaient été emmenées à Pompénie. Oui, c'est exact. Perhaps in that in that same vein, along the same lines, is it also correct that those people that were sent directly from Kresar to Chung Ek, those decisions were made by Hor and Hugh Srey, and then you found out about those decisions of those killings afterwards. Is that correct as well? It's exact. The accused, fundamentally, that is correct. Oui, fundamentalement, c'est correct. I'm just trying Question. to create a little clarity from yesterday. Then it's fair to say as well, is it not, Alors, that you trusted Hugh Sray and you trusted Hoare as your fellow S21 committee members. You trusted them in depth. Is that correct? The accused, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, in the, the working environment, yes, I trusted them. However, if you allow me to uh, elaborate, I could say Mais they never put us in danger. That is, they prevented ne nous, the nous elements from taking any rebellion activity. That's why I trusted them. And they, they never allowed anyone to escape. Uh, de s'échapper ou de se révolter. En ce sens aussi, je leur faisais confiance. Apart from when the radio operator of Hugh Sray's escaped, apart from that incident, late in the Khmer Rouge period, you were proud of Hugh Sray you were proud of Hoare for Hoare, implementing the party line in a disciplined and strong manner. De manière Is that et fair? Yes, exact. The accused, I Réponse. believe uh, them in principle. Oui, je les croyais. Je leur faisais confiance en principe. And question. Just to finish the matter, Et pour sur ce point, you had complete and effective control vous aviez un over what Hoare et and Hugh Sray did. De ce que Hoare et and Hoare when Hoare I say Sray, that, I mean if you wanted to là, stop Hoare si from doing something or stop chose, Hugh Sray from doing something, chose, you could have Cela vous était quite easily because of your position, your power. Très du fait de votre position et de votre pouvoir. The accused, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, uh, my authority was uh, full. I, if I want to know anything, I can do that. I can ask anyone to report. I can stop anything. I want to direct anything. I can do that. It was uh, my uh, uh, true uh, authority at that time. Vous avez effectivement cette autorité à l'époque. I think question. We can all understand why you delegated Je crois que your authority vous to Hoare and Hugh Stray because there were so many things to do at S21, so many things to manage so many people to train, de gestion, de and so many confessions to annotate. Un, un and also, Pressar was a very Par large Pressar agricultural production un lieu de establishment. And because of that, there is no way in the world raison, that you could have attended to all of the tasks that needed to be done. 
and that would be the decisions on the killing, the decisions on the torture, the decisions on maintaining the conditions. That's why you delegated, because you couldn't attend to it completely yourself. Would that be fair? That's exact. The accused, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, in principle, it is correct, oui, but I would like exact, to add je, uh, a little bit to that. So, uh, as uh, it was their experience, I allowed them to continue. And I think I also understand why, in relation to very important prisoners, prisoners that perhaps had come back from Presa, why you would need to contact your superiors in relation to them because of the threat they may have to the CPK. That's why you contacted your superiors in relation to those type of detainees that were brought back from S21, sorry, S24. Is that correct? Peine. The important exact, ones. Les prisonniers importants, je précise. The accused, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, your understanding is correct. Uh, for oui, those uh, and the family of Mylon and uh, the Mylon, family of uh, Sok uh, Sindara, Sindara j'ai dû consulter mes autorités. And just going back Question. to the reports that you received from Hughes Ray and from Hoare 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 in relation to um, the arrests of staff from Presa back to Phnom Penh and in relation to the killings of detainees at Chung Ek from Presa, is it fair to say that these activities occurred over that three-year period? People were not brought back from Presar to Phnom Penh, to S21 there, in one bunch. It happened over a series of months, a series of weeks, over that three-year period. And the same with Chung Ek. People weren't taken to Chung Ek from Presa on one day or two days. It was an activity that was happening on an ongoing basis when those incidents arose that caused Hughes Ray and Hoare concern. Is that correct? The reports came to you as to these, these incidents throughout the three-year period. Ces rapports concernant ces incidents tout au long des trois ans pendant lesquels S24 a existé. Réponse. The accused, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. Uh, frankly, I would like to tell you that because I don't understand well the English, but uh, the translation also limited. Uh, I try to uh, give you a response uh, based on my understanding, and if you don't get the answer, please uh, ask me further about that. Uh, first, uh, uh, the two uh, person, Ho and Hui, who, who was always there, uh, he was very concerned that he need to uh, guarantee before the party uh, to prevent those people from uh, rebelling, uh, not uh, to escape, and to ensure that uh, the production is uh, in progress and ensure that uh, the detainee to uh, respect or to adhere to the dis discipline and the superior uh, was also very busy and uh, the superior c uh, cannot help them. Uh, this uh, this is uh, my answer uh, for you. Uh, thank you, and I, I apologize for the question. It was uh, quite long, but um, perhaps if I can shorten it. The reports of the killings at Chung Ek 
and the reports of the arrest from Presa to uh, S21 in Phnom Penh, they came to you from Hoare and perhaps Hughes Ray on a consistent basis throughout that three and a bit years of operation of S21. The accused, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, Huisrae was the one Huisrae. who reported to uh, the superior, uh, to the committee, as he was the member of the S21 committee. Uh, he made uh, regular reports. I am not quite sure whether it's a monthly or a weekly report, so I can recall it uh, might be, uh, it's more likely a, a monthly report to the committee. But in uh, uh, Exceptional case, he uh, reported uh, uh, more often than that if it, it was not a written, but uh, some cases it was a oral report. Thank you. Question. So, is it fair to say Merci that you put a very large responsibility onto Hoare and to Hugh Ray? particularly in relation to Presa, those 1,300 elements or detainees that were there in 1977, those other S21 staff members and their families that were there at S24, you put a great deal of responsibility onto these two men because they were the decision makers, they were the deciders as to whether any one of those people lived or died. That was a great deal of responsibility that you authorized them to have. Do you agree? Uh, the accused, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, uh, at the beginning I would like to uh, make uh, this uh, matter into two. First, uh, the S21 staff at Brazor have uh, better authority and rights than the other uh, who were at S21. The rights to make the arrest so for those who were at S21 uh, with me, uh, they need to come through me before Notamment arrest les and S21 anything. So uh, the elements uh, in the three categories that I reported uh, to uh, the chamber, uh, it was a, a great uh, authority that I delegate uh, to them. Uh, uh, why uh, it, it was like that? Because the party line uh, uh, instructed like that for those who were half prisoner, uh, uh, the subordinate, subordinate at that place can make decisions. So their authority and uh, power uh, re regarding those uh, elements I agree that it was a great responsibility Et that I delegated to them. Concernant les détenus de S24 étaient effectivement confiés à ces ordonnées sur place. And perhaps um, question. just a brief Merci. couple of questions on the, the issue of reporting systems. Sur I don't want to go into great detail, but to the co-investigative judges. You have said that reports were coming in from Presa on a daily basis to S21. And in a way, you were talking about production reports, rice production reports, and personnel reports, whether people were sick, 
whether they were, how many people were working, they were coming into S21 on a daily basis. And you've also said you were getting other types of reports, reports in relation to incidents that occurred at Fraysar that would require your particular involvement. And you've also said today that you were getting reports of, of the deaths, of deaths of individuals that had been sent to Chungek, and reports of arrests of individuals from Presar to, to the S21 in Phnom Penh. So it's, it's very difficult to talk about one type of report because they relate to very different topics. And so my question is, at times you've said you receive reports on a daily basis, at times you've said you receive reports on a weekly basis, and just a moment ago you said you received reports maybe on a monthly basis. Would it be fair to say Based on <coughs> all of the statements you've made, the court will be able to review the transcripts in the case file, that in fact you were well informed en fait, about bien everything de tout that was happening at Presar through your daily meetings with Hoare, your two to three meetings on occasion every day, your constant contact, contact with Hugh Ray. Wouldn't it be fair to say that you were given a lot of information as to what was happening at S24, but it's difficult 30 years later to remember back particularly how much and how often? It's a long question Question again, but perhaps if you can fois, try, and I can repeat, I can abbreviate si it if, if that's necessary. But. The accused. Thank you, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, who uh, understands uh, my uh, recollections. Uh, it was uh, 30 years now, it um, uh, diminished or it uh, become uh, uh, weak. I received a written a report on the paper about the number of uh, sick people, uh, the people who can do the work. In principle, at the battlefield, uh, they prepare that uh, kind of report so that the commander can uh, make decision. But uh, based on those reports, I uh, did not make any instruction, as you uh, may know. Uh, I have uh, lots of work to do, so I uh, gave priority to the annotation. So as they were uh, doing that kind of work a long time, so I delegate that work for them. Uh, in a monthly report, it is a regular report, and sometime uh, several months uh, uh, there was uh, one report but um, some of the report I uh, look at them and I make a notation and send to the upper echelon and some of the report I would just receive and kept. Um, but I'm not quite sure how many reports that I receive and how many of them that I read and annotated but um, I could not uh, recall the exact number so if you have the document so that I can uh, uh, look and I can tell you further if you have the uh, document. I think my response uh, is not uh, uh, give enough information to, to you if you have any uh, further questions, please. Thank you. Um, I won't show you any documents no, because, as documents. you might know, I have 10 minutes left to, uh, to question you, and, and perhaps I can ask you, say, three, three last questions. And the first one is in relation to 
the killings Elle porte at Presar. Sur les exécutions à Presar. You had effective control over Hor and Husray, and you were told about when those killings had occurred, des qui été but you did nothing, Mais you did nothing rien fait to stop pour un terme those killings à ces throughout the three-year period. Des trois années, and if you can say yes or no, I would appreciate it. Et je vous demanderai de répondre par oui ou par non. Thank you, so Mr. Co-Prosecutor. Your question is very really clear. Uh, yes, I oui. uh, did not stop it. Effectivement, je n'ai rien fait pour y mettre un terme. Thank you. Just two more questions. Question. J'ai encore deux In questions fact, à vous poser. You had given vous a standing killing order, vous aviez en fait donné a standing killing order to Husray and to Hor to implement as necessary de de en oeuvre, at Presar. Selon que de besoin, à Presar. Yes or no? And if you need, I need to explain what standing order means, I can do that. Cette procédure, et je peux vous expliquer peut-être ce que j'entends par euh, ordre de principe. I cannot uh, understand the meaning of your question. Je ne comprends pas très bien My votre apology. question. Can you repeat your question, la please? I've looked across the courtroom, and I think a few others didn't, so perhaps it was me. J ai, j ai uh, by je pense que by je giving Hoare and Hugh Sray the authority that, uh, to decide uh, on what offences would require a killing at Chungek from Presa by giving them that authority that was an order or an authority that only needed to be given once. You didn't need to give it to them every day for those two and a half to three years. There was an understanding that they had that power to do it. Une commande permanente, finalement, que vous aviez donnée à Hor et à Husray, n'est-ce pas Répondez par oui ou par non. L'accusé. Your question is clear now. Votre question yes. est claire maintenant. The authority oui. was given once only. I do not need to repeat une fois, the authority une fois given to them on each case. À leur donner au cas par cas une and autorité. <coughs> C'était ces personnes-là qui avaient une autorité so permanente if we look que at the killings je vais déléguer à ces personnes. Chung Question. You can't say, you can't say your superior ordered you to do that, que vos but you vous ont donné de took positive steps Mais vous avez pris with Hughes Ray des and Hoare to Huss ensure avec Hoare afin that de detainees at Presa were killed because you were deeply committed to the criminal ideology of the CPK. Do you understand that question? Profond. Vous y étiez pleinement engagé. Vous comprenez ma question? Yes, I will attempt to answer your question. If it is not to the point, you can repeat your question. The criminal lines of the CPK. Vous me reposer une question complémentaire. La yes, I, fully, I am fully responsible oui, for it. However, in the actual implementation, they implemented it. But I am responsible before the party, so I am responsible for all these crimes. Thank you, Mr. Gang Guk -Gu. We appreciate your honesty and your clarity. No further questions, Your Honour. plus de questions à poser, Monsieur le Président. The President, 
le président. Next. The floor is open Nous allons for the civil party lawyers au co-avocat des groupes de partis civils. The floor is now for the lawyer for civil Nous party group one. Au you can put questions to the accused. Vous pouvez désormais poser les, vos questions you have à l'accusé. Vous avez 15 minutes in pour ce faire. Questioning the accused. Oh. Good morning, Mr. Vous informer qu'en effet, um, toutes les, to les groupes de partis civils yes, sont, sont anxieux de poser des questions, donc nous avons divisé le temps de parole par quatre so pour avoir 15 minutes chacun. Je vous serai gré de bien vouloir nous autoriser, four, comme nous l'avons fait mardi, minutes. pour mon groupe, Please de pouvoir diviser notre temps de parole en deux et autoriser ma consoeur à poser des questions d'abord. Uh, Merci pour votre like compréhension. My colleague to take the floor first. Thank you for your understanding. Dietrina, thank you, Mr. President. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Because of the short time allocation, donné, let me put the question straight away to the accused. Limité, hein. um, First donné, question. Je vais démarrer mes questions tout de suite. Première question. When you requested to have the Baku location, Lorsque as you said yesterday, demandé, was it your own initiative or not? Avoir, uh, le the camp accused. de Bakou, euh, ceci a lawyer, it was été my de own votre initiative. propre initiative. Réponse oui, en effet. Tisrina. Maître Tisrina. In relation to the Presa location, pour ce qui est du site de Presa, were pits dug in order to bury the dead bodies? Ont -elles été creusées afin d'y enfouir les cadavres? The accused. Let me respond in one word. Réponse par moi de répondre en However, un mot. In principle, as per my instructions, trop. there should be Mais no burial site at all at Prisol. Il ne devrait pas y avoir de site euh, de, de, de fosse commune à Pressard ou de site où les cadavres étaient enterrés à Pressard. Tisrina. Maître Tisrina. Yesterday and the day before yesterday, you said vous avez dit, you went to Chiang Mai for one time que vous vous y êtes rendu and to Prisol for four to five times. Euh, vous y êtes rendu une fois et When quatre you fois went après there, ça. Lorsque you vous saw êtes rendu sur place, vous of the avez eu une vue d'ensemble de, de, de séquences. Est-ce que vous pensiez que vous étiez en train de commettre une, un délit vis-à-vis -vis, ou un crime vis-à-vis -vis de ces prisonniers, l'accusé Maître. The lives of people directly or indirectly were ordered by us to be killed, to be monitored, or to have pressure applied. Euh, yes, I thought of that. De, euh, However, what I said is not a denial. Personne. Uh, oui, effectivement, nous en étions con euh, conscients. In order to counter that Cependant, feeling, I stick to the view that um, the government was responsible before the history. At that time, I did not believe that the DK would be defeated. Pour de la so I que did cela what la I was asked. This is my respect to the government at the time, and that was my thinking. Although de I saw those crimes, I did not protest. Ma ligne de pensée. Bien after you returned, ou résister, did Maître you Tisrina, ever think or à votre at retour, times vous to pensé, minimize the killing activities? De minimiser les activités euh, s'agissant ou se rapportant aux exécutions? The accused, Ms. Lawyer, frankly speaking, no. Réponse, I only tried non. My best to survive. I did what I was asked. 
et j'ai fait ce qu'on m'a demandé Tisrina, de faire. You. Maître Tisrina, je vous remercie. Yesterday, you Hier, said on the 6th of vous avez July, dit que le 6 juillet 1979, My apology, it's the 6th of January, 1979. Il s'agit du 6 janvier 1979. Vous avez fui Phnom Penh due to the attack of the Vietnamese troops. Suite à l'attaque des troupes vietnamiennes. You also said the surviving document, the surviving prisoners who fled along with you. Was that true? prisonniers qui se sont enfuis avec vous. C'est bien, bien ça qui s'est passé when I fled Phnom Penh, Réponse. Lorsque je me suis enfui de Phnom Penh, effectivement, c'est exact. I fled hastily. Je I only had the clothes on my body. Je I left at 2 p.m. on the 7th of January 1979. Et j'ai quitté Phnom Penh à 14h le 7 janvier 1979. And from Phnom Penh, there were some people who fled along. Et il However, y a there qui some se sont remained behind. Cependant, d'autres personnes sont And euh, restées. I think euh, I only knew this after I saw the photos. Mais je the nine people who remained behind And the rest fled with me. j'ai vu les photos des this nine personnes qui ont été laissées à Phnom Penh. This is my response. For those who fled along with you, pour ceux qui did they go voluntarily or were they forced poursuit. with weapons to go personnes, along with you? ont été forcés de s'enfuir avec vous euh, sous la menace d'armes ou est-ce que ces personnes ont agi de plein gré Je n'ai pas vu ça directement, mais euh, je ne pas remarqué ça, so la situation était chaotique, donc je ne pense pas que qui que ce soit ait pu forcer qui que ce soit d'autre, étant donné le fait que la situation était chaotique. Thank you, says voilà, this is je this is my last question. de mes souvenirs. Uh, I want to ask. Une autre je when do you acknowledge the, your responsibility for your crimes during the Democratic Campuchia? When did you realize of your criminal responsibility? Votre Does it occur to you now, pénale? or you were aware of that from that era? Um, votre, quelque chose que the vous reconnaissez maintenant, ou est-ce que c'est à l'époque que vous reconnaissiez cela déjà? As human beings, Maître, en tant qu'être humain, we are not too cruel to acknowledge the criminal activities we did. However, at that time, in order to comfort ourselves, we just pretended it was the work of the police that we had to do. Mais le and policier, I was told of my responsibility and the police work when I was being assigned to be the chairman because they gave the order for the arrest, so they were responsible before the history. And later on, when I saw so many mass killings, I became so shocked. And I, my, my only wish was to ask for forgiveness and to pray for the souls of those who lost their lives in Cambodia in general and in S21 in particular. However, before the law, Devant I am la still loi. a policeman, je suis and they, un they are still responsible before the et history. Je suis, je, et, et At the military mille, court, I reported je, je everything, and when I met a journalist, I also reported it. Journaliste, also with the uh, Japanese, the Italian journalist, I told them. I am a policeman, and they were the government. However, now, before the ECCC, when the two defense counsels explained to me that I had to confess and to be responsible for my crimes, so whatever I can recall, I speak it out. And if there are any further documents, yes, I would acknowledge more. And I would not put the blame on the government like I did in the past. I acknowledge I am a criminal amongst those criminals. And that was my stance. Thank you, Tisrina. Thank you for answering my questions. I have no more questions. And I would now 
like to get the floor to my international colleague. mon confrère international. Yes, the, the floor is yours. Uh, Je vous en prie, Maître Werner. Lawyer Werner. Dit le président. Pardon. Monsieur le Président, à ma montre suisse, il me reste 5 minutes et demie. Says, um, je vais faire de mon mieux minutes. pour euh, proposer euh, so une question juste sur un sujet en, en ces 5 minutes et demie. Bonjour, Monsieur. Um, J'aimerais concentrer sur, uh, sur une partie qui, me semble-t-il, n'a pas été abordée ou, ou que très peu entre hier et aujourd'hui. Et uh, ce sujet est um, le transfert very, very briefly, des membres du personnel de S21 of, uh, à Pressar. Um, et j'allais lire votre déclaration devant le juge d'instruction, mais vu le, le peu de temps qu'il me reste, judges, je, vais, uh, time, think, je vais juste résumer out. ce que Let vous avez dit devant le juge d'instruction. Um, C'était le 30 uh, avril 2008. Pour mon confrère de l'autre côté de la barre, la référence est D71, page 2 et 3. Et en substance... Vous avez dit que lorsque des proches des cadres de S21 étaient arrêtés, ces cadres alors étaient envoyés à Preissa pour y être surveillés de près. Et ensuite, vous avez donné l'exemple de Sommet, qui travaillait à S21, dont le frère et la belle-sœur ont été arrêtés à S21 et qui n'avait pas commis de faute, mais qui a été envoyé à Preissa. Pouvez-vous pouvez juste confirmer que cela est bien exact Thank you, uh, Mr. Lawyer. Yes, I can confirm oui, that peux effectivement confirmer there is no change. Il n'y a pas de changement de ma déclaration. Simplement très vite, combien, combien à votre, briefly, selon vos souvenirs, combien de fois you, cela s'est passé Combien de membres kind of euh, du personnel de S21 ont été envoyés à, à Presa L'accusé. I cannot record. Je n'en ai pas le souvenir. But I can raise one issue. Cependant, je peux soulever un point. Camarade Toy Tang, Camarade Toy Tang, who was responsible for leaking pits at Chiangai, des fosses à Chiangai, was a cousin. Of other two comrades, the two comrades, we sent them to dig pits, and they were removed from the special unit in Phnom Penh. So that was one incident that is related to the relatives. So that is an example for you. And there are other cases as well. And there are other cases as well de ce type également. Alors, monsieur, ce que j'aimerais vous, euh, vous confronter avec ceci, vous avez dit devant like les juges d'instruction, et à nouveau, je ne vais pas les lire par manque de temps, euh, mais simplement vous résumer ce que vous avez dit, le 18 février 2008, et pour mon confrère de l'autre côté de la barre, la référence est D46, page 8 et 9, et vous avez... Vous avez expliqué au juge d'instruction que la même chose vous est arrivée à vous, à savoir qu'un membre de votre famille a été arrêté à S21. Il s'agit de votre beau-frère, Tom, et vous a expliqué qu'une première fois vous avez essayé de le couvrir, et vous avez écrit clandestinement une lettre à Sunsen pour que votre beau-frère ne soit pas arrêté, et que finalement, un Nunchia a, a ordonné l'arrestation de votre beau-frère et que votre beau-frère a été transféré à S21. Est-ce que vous pouvez confirmer cela Maître What I can think as a misinterpretation is only on one word. That I wrote a letter to Sunset. I did not write a letter to him. J'ai dit, j'ai déclaré apparemment que j'avais écrit une lettre à Sunset. Non, je ne lui ai pas écrit de lettre. 
However, Cependant, the principle that I wanted to defend my brother, yes, je voulais défendre and later on, Uncle frère, Noon oui. ordered for his arrest, yes. Uncle Noon a ordonné qu'il soit arrêté, oui. I would just uh, say a little bit more uh, uh, in addition to my response to your question. Is it possible? Est-ce que cela est possible? But avec 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 votre indulgence, Monsieur, vu que mon, mon Sir, temps est quasi écoulé, j'aimerais vous mettre uh, mes deux mes deux uh, um, questions finales. I have two um, étant last entendu que je pense qu'on est d'accord que votre beau-frère a été envoyé à Israël, ma question est celle-ci. Alors qu'il y avait une règle. My final question is as follows. There was a rule to the effect that when an employee of S21 had family for that family would be sent to S24, why did nothing happen to you when your brother was sent to S24? Why did nothing happen to you when your own brother-in-law was sent to S21? How can you explain this, sir? How can you explain this, sir? The accused, Mr. Lawyer. Maître. That is the issue that I want to add to your last question. C'est exactement ça que je voulais dire en complément à votre dernière question ou en complément à ma réponse à votre dernière question. Within my family, I was the main person. J'étais effectivement la personne principale concernée. And in the Communist Party of Cambodia, I was the main person within my family. De ma famille. If I was arrested, then everything's gone. Si nobody would be spared. Tout allait, tout, tout. Si j'avais été arrêté, personne n'aurait pu être épargné. Tout aurait été, tout aurait disparu. My brother was arrested. He he was just an ordinary member of the family. Un membre ordinaire de la famille. Monsieur le Président, ai-je une, une, une minute President, supplémentaire pour mettre une suggestion et je n'aurai fini for one last point. May I? Merci. Thank you. Um, monsieur, laissez-moi vous, vous suggérer ceci. Um, I would like to suggest the following, sir. We seem to be in the same kind of scenario as the day before yesterday regarding confessions of Kiki Mott and Von Vett that we were referring to and where you were involved. Our hypothesis is as follows. I would simply like to submit this to you and to get your comment. Your hypothesis is that, quelles que soient les purges. Quelles que soient les déportations qui s'abattaient à cette époque tout autour de vous, quelle que soit votre propre implication, soit par des confessions, soit par un membre de votre famille envoyé à S21, rien ne vous arrivait, jamais, en quelque sorte vous étiez intouchable. Une autre hypothèse est que vous étiez intouchable parce que vous étiez protégé par Sun Sen et par Nunchia, qui aimaient et votre zèle, et en particulier ces listes d'ennemis dont nous avons parlé. Especially in the form of the lists of enemies that you provided, this is a hypothesis that I'm putting to you once again. Do you agree with this? The accused, Accusé. Mr. Co, Mr. Lawyer, Maître. Thank you, Mr. Lawyer. Je vous remercie, Maître. I survived. J'ai survécu. Because of all these matters, and that is the reality. Grâce à tous ces facteurs, et ça c'est la réalité. However, the important thing, in hindsight, that is, I was absolutely loyal and honest to them, and that was seen through their eyes. Et c'est ce qu'ils voyaient. I was monitored and followed as well. Et on me suivait également. They had some mistrust on me as well. Ils se méfiaient de moi également. So this is my response to you. Voilà ma réponse. Je vous remercie d'avoir répondu à mes questions et je vous remercie pour votre indulgence. Thank you very much for answering and thank you for your indulgence too. Thank you.
Elena Dal with the president. president. Now it's time for the lawyer for the second group of the civil party. Before I hand the floor to the lawyers, I would like to remind the accused to try your best to use pseudonym. Pseudonyms for the witnesses who are involved in the case file, and they have not yet provided the testimonies to this chamber. So, for all the witnesses or those people involved in the case file, please use the pseudonyms which were already given to you. Next, the floor is for the lawyers for Civil Party Group 2. Yes, you have questions for the accused. Yes, good morning, Mr. President, Your Honours. Um, we have questions, and uh, uh, I will represent uh, group number two. Um, I assume that I uh, can ask uh, my questions before the break. Am I right? Okay. Thank you. My questions are the following. Mes questions sont les suivantes. You have told us that elements was an official, éléments, le terme éléments, officially used term, était le terme and you have told us as well nous avez dit également that so-called elements que ces have éléments lost their rights of civilians and were treated like elements. En tant que civil, Is this correct? Comme des composants. Est exact? Réponse. The accused, uh, Miss Lawyer, it is correct. Maître, c'est exact. Thank you. My question réponse, is then, was this term accompanied by the term contemptible, ou like ou it le was terme used méprisable, for the enemies? Term utilisé pour les ennemis. Or were other degrading words Added in the official use of la elements, officielle. also to add other degrading words like, for example, me and are uh, or contemptible. Me are, c'est-à-dire méprisable, um, accolé au terme de composant. The accused, uh, Miss Lawyer, uh, the terms uh, contemptible or uh, evil. You uh, was used for the animals and for uh, the enemies. It is correct. But for the elements, uh, uh, contemptible and uh, evil things not used for uh, the elements. But uh, they were not uh, given the same rights as others. That's all I can say. Thank you. Um, Le même. My next question uh, on this issue is: um, question. Did the term "elements" Sur ce point, have a similar function, si le terme like the term la "enemy"? Même que le terme and ennemi. there, I mean, with the same function, dire, to use this term for them to facilitate terme that stuff could ill-treat them. Pour faire en sorte them, que le personnel them, puisse les them, to passer à tabac, les interroger, uh, les torturer, uh, et que cela facilite en cela leur travail. Est-ce que um, cette fonction-là uh, est role. similaire Est-ce que ce terme sert la même fonction The accused, uh, Miss Lawyer. The term elements, I explained already, it means that the person is half enemy, is half a friend, but it's not clear whether he or she is a friend or enemy. Uh, the terms uh, was used in practice is more serious than the 17 April people. Yeah, it is more serious than the 17 April uh, people. But uh, 
could I ask then? Maître um, Studinsky. Was it easier then for the staff in S24 when they called them element to ill treat them, to force them to labor and so on? Was it easier then call them by name, for example? Les composantes, ou s'ils utilisaient le terme composants s'adressant à eux, c'était plus facile pour eux de les maltraiter que en les en appelant des prisonniers. Yes, it is correct. N'est-ce pas? Thank you. Réponse, oui, c'est exact. Maître. Move to another issue. Question. Um, Je passe have you been à l'époque, est-ce que vous saviez que les mariages collectifs étaient ordonnés pendant la période du Cambodge démocratique? Il s'agit là d'une question générale. Décuse, uh, Miss Lawyer. I would like to explain uh, a bit longer in Phnom Penh. I never saw any uh, wedding, and they just call uh, like uh, uh, this man is a husband of that. So it's, it's Tamok way. So uh, myself, I uh, I have a uh, fall fall in love with my, my wife for quite a long time and then I request uh, to be married. So at S21, there were only two couples, Pon uh, and uh, Hor couple. So uh, four others who were married by the former uh, unit because of uh, the, uh, the men and women fell in love with each other and they were married. Um, this was not really an answer, a full answer to my question. Question. I would like to repeat. Uh, have you, uh, are you aware at the time, in general, I do not ask about your case or special cases, were you aware about the policy, I would like to call it a policy of practice of group weddings in general organized by Ankara? Were you aware about this practice in the country? Very general. Dans le pays, de manière très générale. Mais um, the president, the president. Uh, the lawyer, you seem to ask uh, the question which not related to the facts. So the accused um, uh, may not a response. Et l'accusé n'est donc pas obligé de vous répondre. So, Mr. President, this is only the introduction question for my next question, which is, which is directly related to uh, S24 and uh, what we have already uh, discussed. And I really would like to allow that you allow the um, accused to answer, respond. It is only the introduction. C'est une question que je pose en guise d'introduction. The president, uh, your request is uh, denied, and uh, the accused uh, is not allowed to respond uh, to any question uh, other than those that fall in the facts uh, for the hearing. My next question is then, some days ago, you have seen a photo of the meal of the wedding of Nun Hui. Pas de mariage non -hoy. And Kern. Et, et Kern. Was this marriage a group wedding? S'agissait-il d'un mariage collectif? The accused, uh, as far as I recall, uh, uh, the division uh, 703 um, uh, uh, married uh, uh, the couples and I invited the uh, new couples uh, for uh, a party at my house so that I can introduce them to other comrades. It's only one couple was married by Division 703 then. At least in the English translation, um, uh, this was a contradiction. First it said, there were couples uh, married and then uh, only one couple. Can you please uh, clarify were there one or several couples and if so, how many couples married together at the same time with Nunui and Kern? 
Om Ekkaden. Uh, Mr. President, um, uh, the question it was uh, outside of the facts, uh, so the accused uh, need not uh, to respond. And uh, lawyer, please uh, uh, reframe uh, your question to be uh, uh, to follow with the facts that uh, we uh, allow for uh, your questioning. So uh, a repeated question and the leading question and the uh, question uh, with the uh, explanation it is uh, not allowed uh, to be asked so uh, your time is almost uh, run out Mr. President, I looked at this uh, clock and I have still five minutes. Thank you for this advice, um, but um, of course I need explanations uh, to introduce the questions. Uh, if not, it is meaningless. And these questions only to explain, I will not refer again to this, but uh, show, of course, living conditions of staff and which show how they uh, lived in S24 and could demonstrate uh, also how their private la life was made uh, um, life organized by Ankar. Now I come to um, my next question. Um, can you give me um, a reason for you explain that uh, men and women in S24 were separated. Pourquoi les hommes et les femmes étaient séparés? And is this correct? Est-il vrai que les hommes et les femmes étaient séparés pour commencer? The accused Réponse. men and uh, women uh, when uh, they were not a uh, married couple, they had to be separated, and if they were oh, couples, separés, si uh, they can mariés, meet each other si once in every 10 days. This is jours. the policy or principle of uh, uh, the party. Par le party. And can you give, Question. if you know, uh, therefore a reason, can you give a short oui, answer oui, with oui, a reason for this separation? Rapidement. Pourquoi cette séparation? The accused, uh, 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 Miss Lawyer, the reasons uh, there is uh, nothing rather than to uh, put together uh, the force, physical Il a pas force, and. Organisation des forces and uh, to avoid any spending time, husband and wife uh, and enjoying together. Si, um, Thank you. I come now to my last question, ensemble, um, which concerns the general policy at Pressar. Um, if I'm right, what you have said yesterday and today a successful re-education, si which could be followed by release, une was impossible. It is impossible that the re-education leads to a liberation. Is it exact? The accused uh, Miss Lawyer at S24, uh, none of S24, them uh, was released. It is clear. And then question. I would like to get an answer to my question, why was Pourquoi S24 necessary if they were, avoir in any S24 case, si sent façon, to les be killed, S24 étaient S24 be it S21 or Chengek? Que ce soit S21 ou à Chengek. Why was this interim Pourquoi avoir un si un camp de interim, transit um, pour le center centre necessary. de transit En quoi était-il nécessaire The accused réponse I would like to uh, tell you that it is the decision from the party, une uh, du party. in that 
uh, management and organization. Uh, I can only uh, say my understanding about their uh, policy. As far as I understand, uh, those uh, people and uh, the party uh, had no real and sufficient uh, decision to interrogate, to torture, to execute, Le parti but pas they decided to de keep de them for a while so that uh, they can uh, make further decision. This is Dans my understanding. It's not a written finale. decision from uh, the, uh, the party. Thank you. 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 Thank the president, and it is now uh, time for us uh, to take the break, non, and we will take a 20-minute uh, break until 11 o'clock, and uh, uh, the parties and the public please come back uh, before that uh, time.